M. Yes Bank has always claimed to be deeply committed towards conservation of natural resources and has been focused on becoming a force in fostering the same. This year, Yes Bank organized their fourth edition of Natural Capital Awards. The winner of the North Rotter Organization. These awards were conducted in collaboration with the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Ministry of Development of Northeastern Region, and Namami Gange. Well, you know, in terms of, you know, sustainability being a very reasonably well understood topic, you know, a recent study by the Harvard Business School indicated that companies that tended to have a sustainability heavy strategy outperformed low sustainability strategy companies by about 46 odd percent. So sustainability clearly is not a subject only of CSR, it is a subject about doing the right kind of business. So there is seriously need for us to look at our natural capital and do something about it. Often those who care very deeply about the nature and the environment are not financial experts or may not be financial experts and may even mistrust the financial system. And on the other hand, financial actors can view environmentalists as maybe tree huggers with no idea of how the real world works. So both tribes speak complex technical languages that sound alien to the outsider. And YesBank's endeavor towards natural capital initiatives in India mainly revolves around bridging this gap and bring to the fore best practices in the industry, thus creating a kind of a common platform for these dialogues and progression to really happen. And uh, our quest is to develop innovative, investable environmental projects via financial instruments like blended finance. And the overall objective is to ensure that such projects are structured in a way to deliver high quality of returns for investors, local communities, and overall an environmental impact. This year's award ceremony saw participation from industry stalwarts and prominent civil society leaders who leveraged this leading platform to remit the message of natural resource conservation. We have a huge urban population apart from the rural population. Urbanization is also picking up in our country. Uh, I think in next 20 years or 25 years, India will be more urbanized, I mean more than 50% of the India will be urbanized. Already the figure is 31%, which is around 10 years back. So I think if you really look at the figure, it will be more than 35-40%. But certainly the projection is that uh, in next 20 years, we are going to have more people in the urban area. Now what happens? Like these kind of, these kind of growth is going to bring in much more pressure on the natural resources whether it is the forestry, whether it is the water, so, so we have to, and then added to that climate change related issues. So I think all of them are going to bring in much more uh, challenges and it's very important for us to really link ecology and uh, economy. Uh, when we look at uh, Ganga, when we talk about this river, we are basically looking at again a system of rivers. It's not just the one river, river Ganga, which we, I am telling, there are a number of tributaries. So I think uh, this river itself is 2,525 kilometers long, but if you add Yamuna in that, I think there was some, some discussion about Yamuna also earlier. If you look at Yamuna, that's around 1,500 kilometers, so many other mighty rivers, this all becomes part of the Ganga river system. So we are looking at a huge, huge potential natural capital which needs to be preserved and then linked in a proper way, in a sustainable way, so that it can really help us in our economy. As we all know, sustainability is also very much in the heart of our SDGs, the Sustainability Development Goals. And it's also because we cannot solve our challenges on sustainability as a country by ourselves, as a company by ourselves. By definition, I think environment, sustainability is something which is transboundary. It's really an international issue. And therefore, it requires international agreements, it requires international partnerships, governments who work closely together, individuals who are working closely together. That's the only way we can deal with our enormous challenge. 
the embassy has been working since I arrived and probably before that trying to find an issue or a subject that is for both interest India and Spain and this is precisely environment and water. Fortunately people are standing, uh, uh, starting to realize that this is a real problem for the future of the city because without water there is no employment 50% of employment are directly related to water in fact uh, just to point out the, the problems to see that a solution is absolutely needed if we can cooperate on this if we can collaborate it would be wonderful the preservation of natural resources is enshrined in our constitution it is a core concern of our people and a decisive strategic factor in the country's success the more than 250 India, 50, Indian tourists visiting Switzerland every year the Bollywood scenes reflecting the beauty of our painstakingly nurtured mountains and lakes are testimony to that. However, growing population pressure, rapid urbanization, our economic development generally, all these result in an ongoing need to do much more. You know, protecting our world resources, fighting climate change and bio biodiversity erosion, well, it's a big issue. It's probably also the only way forward. And you know that France is deeply, deeply committed to this goal, both through national policies and uh, in, on the international stage. Yes Bank is also participating to our common challenge by organizing this initiative and uh, once again I would like to, to, to thank them very well and let me tell again um, how glad I'm here, how proud I'm here to, to, to take part in this uh, award ceremony and uh, please allow me to congratulate in advance all the contestants and of course all the winners. We're gathered at this event to celebrate pragmatic and meaningful real-world actions to safeguard and protect the legacy of natural capital for future generations. And so I salute Yes Bank for its leadership. It is the kind of leadership that leads through engagement and through inspiration, and that's the way that things happen. Every day, every week, every year, there is more evidence of the intimate relationships between natural capital and the success or failure of our economies and their ongoing growth. We see this not only in the headlines of humanitarian disasters, but in the more subtle but ever-present consequence of rising costs of forest products or crops, the rising cost of pumping groundwater from falling aquifers. These relationships span many dimensions from biogeochemical cycles to hydrologic cycles. They include forests, soil, fisheries, groundwater aquifers, the stocks and flows of natural resources, and the flows of ecosystem services on which our economies depend. It is an honor, pleasure, and a privilege to be here with you today. The Natural Capital Coalition is an NGO that seeks to mainstream the inclusion of um, <coughs> the inclusion of natural capital in decision making, harmonising approaches, and bringing them to scale quickly. A natural capital approach is innovative because it allows organisations to identify, measure, and then crucially value their dependencies as well as their impact on the natural world. We believe that no individual organisation will solve the enormous problems we face by itself. It is only by working together that we will find the solutions we need. Any action which is taken by the, by the company and by organisation uh, towards these sustainable goals, uh, we are very happy to support from the Global Compact Network India. So I would invite the organizations, both in the corporate sector and the civil society sector, to join hands with the Global Compact Network and to promote these uh, sustainable development goals 
not only in the natural capital um, area, but also other sustainable development goals. And we're very happy to collaborate, support, and partner in these efforts. Sandeep Kumar, additional principal chief conservator of forest, Assam. A.K. Shukla, principal chief conservator of forest, Arunachal Pradesh. And Ashwini Kumar Chan, resident commissioner of Sikkim, representing the state partners at the event, shared their best practices in the space of natural capital conservation. At the ceremony, a charter was signed between Yes Bank, UN Global Compact Network India, GCNI, and Synergy, pledging to take Yes Bank's climate literacy program across 100 schools in Delhi and NCR to build knowledge and pathways to impact society at large. Yes Bank also launched a report on innovating pathways to sustainable finance in India, emphasizing on the need for institutionalizing a green finance infrastructure. Yasmank Natural Capital Awards witnessed an overwhelming participation from individuals with more than 38,000 photographs submitted and 760 organization entries. Our mission is uh, to support and to, uh, to encourage and to mobilize research in social sciences in developing countries so that uh, these countries have more autonomy in the design and conduct of their own public policies. This is especially important in the area of environment. Uh, and indeed, uh, in this uh, jury, when we looked at the various uh, uh, submissions from the applicants, uh, it was very striking to see the weight and the importance of the mobilization of local individuals, local communities, and without that interaction with the local communities, no action, no innovation can take place. And it's a pity that social science doesn't take that enough into account. Uh, and that is something that we are trying to help uh, remedy. The bank honored India's leading national capitalists across eight categories for their innovative and outstanding efforts in conserving India's natural wealth at a grand ceremony in New Delhi. In its fourth edition, Yes Bank felicitated country's leading natural capitalists for their innovative and relentless efforts across various categories. The award ceremony started with felicitation in the eco-corporate category. The award for eco-corporate services category went to Adani Ports and SEZ. Godrej Industries and Associate Companies was adjudged the winner in the eco-corporate manufacturing category. In the small scale organization, for profit category, the award went to Nano Bubbles Bangalore. Mm -hmm. Sri Vivekanand Research and Training Institute was adjudged the winner in the small scale organization, not for profit category. Mm -hmm. In the eco campus category, the winner was IIT Gandhinagar. The award in the Pixel Perfect category went to Vaiju Patil for hunting. In the category Trailblazer, the award went to Nikhil Tambekar for the highway trap. Narendra Kumar Pandey for the sailor received special category award for capturing the Ganges, which was introduced to support the Indian government's Namami Gange initiative.
Pawan Kumar Shamle, Chief Minister of Sikkim, was awarded Nature Leader of the Year for his contribution towards developing natural capital in Sikkim. It's a great initiative to promote people who are uh, into sustainable development and uh, who are actually trying to preserve the earth. Uh, it's a great initiative. Join on a sustainability paper, which is very good. And ye jo message jayega because I'm from the village, uh, village area, se, jahan pe kafi log hain jo mujhe dekhe aur wo educate honge about this, about the sustainability. What I particularly find really inspiring is the way my team and the, my, when I say my team, my team is not just a sustainability team. My entire team at Godrej is committed and dedicated to producing goods at as much as possible in an increasing methodology to create them in a sustainable manner. We are feeling proud that uh, our efforts are recognized being this award. And we glad to uh, say that uh, more initiatives will be also taken by the Adani ports under the sustainability initiatives. We are really honored to get this, receive this award from uh, AS Bank. It's a very good initiative for conserving the natural resources and to inculcate the, uh, you know, the, the uh, uh, importance of uh, preserving natural resources. This is the most prestigious award in the India and it's a uh, 38,000 images. It's a very highly uh, photo contest uh, of India and uh, I'm very happy for this award. This is my second time is Yes Bank. Thank you so much. It's a really proud feeling because uh, this is the third time we got out of four years. Four times the award has been uh, announced uh, and uh, this is uh, I think is a uh, kind of a overall performance on sustainability uh, that includes the performance on our governance, on environment, on uh, CSR issues, on our efficiencies uh, and uh, is really a great feeling. I would also like to uh, congratulate Yes Bank uh, on instituting these awards because uh, a financial institution thinking about sustainability it's a major step and if we look, at, look back uh, very recently this year's Nobel Prize also has been awarded to an economist who considered the effects of uh, sustainability on economic policies. So overall, uh, I think it's a very good step. और हमने जो इधर काम किया है रुकमावती रिवर बेसिन मैनेजमेंट में जो एग्रीकल्चर का काम किया है रेन वाटर हार्वेस्टिंग का काम किया है और कंपोस्टिंग का काम किया है अर्थवम का काम किया इसी में हमको मिला है। This is wonderful feeling and I'm really honoured. Uh, I got this award and this is a very good, uh, very good initiative uh, for youngsters and newcomers also. Uh, who are working on nature, who are working on wildlife and who are working on the natural uh, capitals. I think for us it is a, a motivation like the award which US Bank has instituted. Uh, we have applied it for the first time and it has uh, a lot of component on areas of environmental sustainability and uh, whatever we have done it in about last two years time I think we got an opportunity to present that in a systematic way. Through this event, Yes Bank once again reiterated their unwavering commitment towards the natural capital. With the help of this platform, the organization seeks to encourage people towards conservation and help usher in positive changes in the society.